Welcome to our Five on Five. Pleased to be joined today by Steve Niemeley, the Acting District Wildlife Biologist for the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Good to here. see you. Thank you. All right. So we're, we're here today talking about wolves. What is ODFW's responsibility when it comes to wolves in Oregon? Well, ODFW is the Wildlife Management Agency for the state of Oregon. So we have management authority over all the wildlife species in Oregon. That said, in Western Oregon, wolves are still federally endangered under the Federal Endangered Species Act. So they're they fall under the management of U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So here in um, Western Oregon, it's really U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that's the lead agency in the management of wolves. Okay, and what exactly is the law on wolves? Is it don't touch completely or are there exceptions? Well, again, the Oregon is a little bit complicated because we have a, a portion of the state in Eastern Oregon where they have been delisted federally and they are then under the full management authority of Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife and there's sort of a one set of rules over there. In Western Oregon, where they're under full uh, federal protection, essentially uh, wolves can't, cannot be harmed. Um, in certain circumstances, if you're a, a cattleman and you have wolves in close proximity to your cattle, you can haze them. But for the most part, it's a, it's a do not touch uh, for wolves in Western Oregon. They're under full uh, federal authority and again endangered species act protections. Okay, recently there there seemed if I recall correctly there was an incident where a man shot and killed a wolf. Uh, he he says in self defense uh, was was that in, that was not in Western Oregon, correct? And no, what's no the that was that? in uh, Eastern Oregon. Uh, that was an incident uh, in, investigated by the Oregon State Police because it did occur in that portion of the state that's under state management and authority. So. Uh, ODFW and an OSP officer responded, OSP conducted an investigation, and at this point a uh, prosecution is, is not moving forward um, because it, it potentially a self-defense situation. So any real questions about that have to be handled by the Oregon State Police that, that did that investigation. Okay, very good. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll have much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Steve Nimala from Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. We're talking about wolves in Oregon. How many wolves do you guys estimate are in Southern Oregon? Well, uh, we have pretty good numbers statewide. Uh, at the end of 2016, we had 112 known wolves throughout the state. Okay. Um, there's, we'll be starting those counts again and, and readdressing those numbers relatively soon for 2017. We know we had more reproduction in 2017 than we did in 2016. So our wolf population is growing. In Southern Oregon right now, we're, we're uh, monitoring the rogue pack. You know, there's probably somewhere between five to 12 animals in, in that pack. Um, we have one collared wolf, OR54, in that pack now. And so we're, we're keeping our eye and, and monitoring those animals pretty closely. Okay, how common are human interactions with wolves? Well, you gotta keep in mind that, again, wolves are pretty, still a very rare animal in Oregon. There's only 112 known animals. There's some we don't know about, but 112 known across the whole state. So that's a pretty, um, pretty small number. Human encounters with wolves are still pretty rare. Um, if people do observe a wolf at odfw.com backslash wolf, they can find our wolf reporting page, and we would really encourage people to give us those sightings. Okay, and, and should is there any advice you can give people on if they should? I understand it is rare, but if they do, if they're out hunting or anything, if they cross paths with a wolf, it, you know, is, do you treat it the same way as a bear, as a cougar, or sure. how do you approach? Yeah, wolves um, historically have been a pretty safe animal in North America, so um, if you see a wolf, the best thing to do is just let the wolf know that you're there. Um, they're, they're more than likely going to run away at that point. So just make some noise, call their attention to them, um, uh, you know, appreciate the fact that you're seeing a pretty rare animal, mm -hmm. and um, it, more than likely it's going to run away. Okay, great to see you. Thanks yeah. so much for being here. Thank appreciate you. it. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.